and Maxwell looking a little bit groggy and a face which tells a story. When I was a kid, and I uh, moved from London to Liverpool. My cousin was training at a boxing gym around the corner at Highside ABC. The first day I went, just fell in love with it. It just gave me a lot of good values. The determination, the respecting your opponent and respecting each other and training hard. It was something I was good at. In the changes before the fight, you're warming up and your coaches are motivating you, your cop man, everyone's having their say. The cop man said, uh, no sad stories tonight, Sam, only, only good stories. I was going in there to show everyone who Sam Maxwell is. I always have a look at the opponent the first round and um, build into the fight. This one just didn't go to plan. He's going a bit wild. He was throwing a lot of power and I was thinking, he's going he's gonna to tire himself out um, pretty soon. And he caught me and I went down and I remember thinking, it was, it was a heavy shot the first one as well. I was thinking, oh, like, what's happened there? Like, I've not been hit before in, in my pro career. And it, going into the last round, the coach was saying to me, I need a big last round and uh, I need to win this round. And I got wobbled in the 10th. And he started showboating. And uh, I was thinking, I've, I've blown it. But then I was thinking, no, no, I can get it. I know I've got the power to, to, to change the fight. I just need to land the shot. And I did. 10 seconds ago, I knock him out after he's been showboating. It, you, you couldn't have wrote a better script than that. People I didn't even know were coming up to me and saying they couldn't, what a fight, the best fight they've ever seen. And it, it was just unreal, unreal feeling. Tyson Fury was interviewed after the fight. Get everyone texting me saying, have you heard what Tyson Fury's saying about you? And then the next day on Instagram, Anthony Joshua saying, absolutely amazing, well done, you showed the heart of a lion. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it, I was so, so happy. My logical aim now is to go for that world title in the WBO. That's the dream, it's something I'm, I've got in my sights and it's, it's a goal I'm gonna give myself. I've had hundreds of messages of people um, saying how it's inspired them. I'm, I'm so happy that my life, my performance, um, as it can, can inspire other people, inspire them in their life and, uh, you know, never give up. It's, it's, a, it's a great story. <laughs>